Okay, Augusto, uh, we try. Yes. Uh, a, little, a little about the circuit. Uh, how long is the circuit? How many corners, if you know, remember? Well, we have... Uh, this is a circuit which has different layouts. So you can build a circuit from, like, let's say, two and a half kilometers up to almost seven kilometers. Wow. Uh, different kind of corners. You can get a fast, slow. It's a good combination. The circuit we are driving now It is uh, four and a half kilometers. Good. A combination of very long corners, kind of. Do you remember Istanbul? They had this Istanbul Park. Yes. Yes, this very long triple apex. Of course. Yeah, we it have. It was a three apex yes. corner. We have here. A, a, What was the number of the corner? Uh, 123. No, it was corner number eight. Corner number eight. Corner, num corner number, uh, number eight. Okay, you failed in the first, first question. Step. Bam! Bam. Uh, second question. Who, who is the best driver who won Grand Prix in Istanbul? Uh, I might say Michael Schumacher. Bam! Felipe Massa. Ah, yeah, Felipe, yeah, of course. Felipe Massa! Yeah. How could you forget Felipe Massa? Are oh, you Brazilian? Come on. I almost said Felipe. Are oh, you almost said Felipe? I thought about Felipe. Uh, yeah. You almost was right. Uh, what is your middle name? Put both hands on the steering wheel, please, yeah, as a racing driver. What is your middle name? You start with the letter C. I'll give you a, a, a hint. Uh, Celestino. Celestino! Yes! Oh, right, Celestino. So every time I get it right, I push. Yes, okay. And when you see the corner, you break. I try. Oh, good corner. So good this is corner. a long corner and then we have an apex here. Look, and then we accelerate. Yes. Oh, fantastic. But can I go on the sport mode, if you don't mind? Because then the car is a little better. Go to sport mode? Yeah. You're okay. a sport driver. Next question. Are you ready? I born ready. You born ready? Yes. Good. Um, who is... Your best teammate in the DTM? The best teammate? Yes. Uh, well, I'm lucky because in DTM we have a very good group of drivers in BMW, to be honest. You're right. So uh, I get well with all of them. I might say, can I say two names? You can say two names. Okay, Maxime Martin and Tom Blomqvist. Tom Blomqvist? Yes. The British guy? Yes. Okay, good. And the next question about DTM, who is the current champion? Uh, Don't mess with the fly. We have a fly in the car. Don't mess with the fly. Oh, almost. Drive. Don't mess with the fly. Yes, I'm just moving all Who is the current champion in the DTM? You, you mean the current or the next champion? The current champion. Who is the defending champion? Uh, you don't want to ask who's going to be the next champion. I will do that, but and you, you're going to say it's you. But who is the current champion? Uh, he's still Marco in time. Marco Wittmann. Marco Wittmann. Yes, I got it. And he's coming from? Uh, from Germany, of course. Ah, Germany. Mega Marco. Mm, Marco Wittmann is a great driver. Which was, uh, where was the uh, first podium for you in DTM? It was Laos's ring. On my second DTM race, uh, I finished third. Right. Can I let the other car pass? It's not because they are faster than me. Yes. It's just because we are talking and they, I let them go. Yes. Let the other car pass. But let's make sure if I want, I can pass them. I'm much better driving faster. Because people at home might think I'm letting by. I'm not fast enough. Listen, we'll speak about you later. Okay. Okay. About your capabilities later. Now we speak about your career. This is so a triple said, apex. One apex. Two, two Apex. And this is the third one. This is the third one. Exactly, like in Turkey. But what was so special in Istanbul Park, beside of the uh, triple uh, corner? What was so special? Yes. The Bosforo? No, about the circuit. It was going... It was in Turkey. It was so special. Do you like to eat Turkey? <laughs> yes, you eat Turkey. It was anti-clockwise. Like? Interlagos! Yes! Carlos Pace, Interlagos! Right. right, right. Good call. Who was your idol driver? Wow, I mean... Michael Schumacher. Yeah, yes, of course. But? Uh, of course, Ayrton Senna. Ayrton Senna. As being a Brazilian, you know, uh, 
Ayrton Senna was definitely my hero. And I was, I grew up watching Senna on TV, winning races. So definitely was a very special time. And uh, I mean, he was a legend. He was a legend. And he's still a legend. He's still a legend. He's still a legend. So, which is your favorite track? Uh, I would say Norschleife. Wow, okay. Did, I, you, did you try the big one? Yes, I won the 24 hours there. Right. Yeah, the last BMW which won the 24 hours of Nürburgring was me behind the wheel. So the Notch Life, the small one, is your favorite one? The or big the big one. one? The, the big, big one. one. The big, big one. one. The big one. The small one, the small Nürburgring is not... Uh, no, not this, a small Nürburgring, it is something, but of course, you cannot compare. I mean, the Norsch Life, it is something unique. Uh, How can you remember the, the corners? Because it's 21 kilometers, more than 170 corners. You need to be uh, Hans Stuck. Hans Stuck. Yeah, I think you know him. Of course. He once told me you need 150 laps to be good on that track. And uh, yeah, it is challenging, especially because you have many different asphalt on the track. So it is a track where it is not like here, which has been done at once. You have some sections which have... Patches. Yes. Patches of asphalt. Y and also concrete in the carousel. Yes, yeah, the, and the when it rains, for instance, then it becomes crazy. The grip is crazy. You have yeah. different grips all over the place. I see, I see. So, uh, you said that the uh, current champion in your right is Marco Wittmann, and he's a very good driver. Forza Marco. Forza Marco. Who is going to be the next champion? I, he's, Let I, me give you a hint. He's Brazilian. Brazilian? I, I don't know. Look, it can't even go faster when we talk about about the next champion. The I don't know why. The car understands. You think? Yes. Uh, it's an intelligent car. Uh, and the, the driver is also intelligent. Uh, uh, What's look, so special with BMW? Uh, I think there is only few. Look how beautiful is this. It's a 7 Series though, huh? This is a 7 Series. You know, it, 610 horsepower but how much the torque 800 newton 800 newton yeah but meter. Look, look feel how much it pulls i mean it's a seven series don't forget that huh yes but it's a v12 it's a v12 turbo so it is something but what makes bmw so special i think bmw it is the only car manufacturer which has always the sportive DNA and they always look for the pleasure of driving share pleasure driving it's doesn't matter now we're driving an M760 top of the range but even if you get the smallest BMW out there you will see there is something not for that if you see most of the BMW range it is rear wheel drive most of them. Most of them. Except of the two. Uh, the the, the, the city the, the two Yes. Yeah. Uh, but most of the BMW cars are rear wheel drive, and that shows a little bit our DNA. That we don't want to give people a car. We don't want to give people a lifestyle. A you know? Experience. A experience. It's not about taking a car to go from A to B. It is how you go from A to B. And I think this is what makes this company so special. And you can you can feel all those fantastic things also in the race? Can it, you find time to enjoy the race, enjoy the car? Yeah, well, it is different because, of course, when you're racing, you're there searching for the limit. I got the... Huh? Look how good I am. Yes, but I asked the flight to go out. And she came back. It's not the same one. Uh, and it was she, it was he. <laughs> when, you're, when you're racing, of course, you're aiming for the limit. So... It is a different focus. Okay. You're there working. But what I can experience, it is a fantastic BMW environment. And you see people working for BMW. And they are proud to be part of the BMW. It is not a normal... You, you, that is, you go to the racetrack, you talk to BMW engineers. It's not about delivering the job. It's not going there and making a race car. We are making a BMW. It's a fighting unit? Yes. It's a fighting unit, yeah. if I can say so. Yeah. With a fighting spirit. Yeah. We are 
this I can also tell for instance in DTM we are the best team all of all of them Ma many races we have won not having the best car but we had the best team spirit okay this one will be tested again this year and you say the champion will be Brazilian which is you that's what I heard okay that's what you heard yeah somebody need to work for that you know it's not coming from God like that and that's why I'm here working so hard let's see uh, what was your favorite car when before you became a race driver you should say BMW what was your favorite no, no, car? I, I, I'll, be, ah, okay. I'll be honest I will be let me be honest of course I when I was a child mm -hmm. The, the icon of my childhood was the F40. Ford? F40. Ah, Ford, Ferrari, sorry. Yes. Okay. The Ferrari F40, because... What about the Ford GT4? No, you know? no, no. Well, I mean, I, I'm born in 83, and the F40 is from eight, end of 80s. You're a baby. You're a niño. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yes. And uh, so, of course, that was a big icon, together with the Lamborghini Countach. The Lamborghini Countach. Uh, after being a grown-up, I've been, uh, and currently, one of my hobbies, it is collecting old cars. You have a collection of old no, cars? No, I don't have a collection, but I'm, 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 I'm... I'm not from the tax, okay? You can no, say I the truth. I have some old cars. Some, 20. <laughs> I wish. 25. I wish. Okay. And uh, for instance, I just bought a BMW 2002 Turbo. Oh, this is one of the classics. That is one of the classics. It's so, she stands so wide on the road, I mean... And it's more wide than this one. And now I want to know if how well prepared you are. The question is for you. What makes the 2002 Turbo so special? Ha! I don't know. It's on the name. The year? No. It is the first production car with the Turbo With engine. the Turbo. Right. Right. Now... What is the name of the technology of BMW with the Turbo? Ta-da! Twin? Twin Turbo. Twin Power. Ah, Twin Power. Twin ah, Power. Yeah, but this twin is... Twin Power, it's right in here someplace. Hey, twin Power. Hey. Yes. You go back to the history and you're fantastic, but for today... Yeah, but this was a... Do your homework. Yeah, it guy. was not a straightforward question. Why? Because it's normal. Every every niño knows that. Even your daughter, she knows that. Okay. How old is she? Five and a half. Five and a half. Okay. And you're gonna be a daddy again soon. 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 In a couple soon. of months. Soon. 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 Okay. Uh, we wish you all the luck. Thank and your you. Your wife, of course, and your wife. How she overcame the the experience she had with you in the car? In the Nurburgring. In the Nurburgring, yes. Very well. Uh, she I never... should say. I should say to our audience, Augusto lakarat ishto bemechonit. לנסיעה תמימה במסלול הנובוגרינג בגרמניה, היא לא ידעה מה הוא מכין לה, והוא פשוט הרס אותה בנסיעה הזאת, פשוט הרס אותה. I explained to the audience that... They should go on YouTube and check for the video. Yes, and I, I hope that uh, we will uh, put it inside this one. Okay, that's so good. So we can see. Uh, do you know what was the outcome? I didn't divorce. How many nights you slept outside? Yes, yeah, but you know, better than that. She doesn't come in the car with me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> wow! It's true. You know, BMW a couple of times offered her again to get a, a lap with me. To fix it? No way. I even offered myself to do the other way around. To let her drive and me be a passenger. Because then it would be scary. <laughs> Are you really... How do you feel when you sit next to somebody? Uh, depends. Uh, honestly, it's not because it's my wife. She's, no, 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 not the one. He's I an mean, extremely good driver. Will you, if you sit next to Marco Wittmann? I'm fine, I'm fine, yeah. I'm you fine. count on him, okay, but yeah, yeah, yeah. you're not scared. Your, your breaking points are a little bit different. No, 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 no. I have... Turning points are a little bit different, a little bit. No, 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 but I, I, I mean, and you know, like when we drive around on the track, we don't drive at our 100%. We drive uh, within a margin, so... I have no problem with driving besides any of professional. I mean, if I know well the professional driver, yeah, I, I would have no problem. Uh, I know that you live in Monaco. Yes, a good neighborhood, and one of your neighbors is uh, Lewis Hamilton. Yeah, Nico as well. And Nico Rosberg. 
you see them on the street, on the grocery store, when you go and buy some things, or when yeah. you go with the children yeah, together? Yeah, Nico, yes. Nico, I see very, very often. Is he a straightforward guy? Yeah, I know him because I know him from go-karts. I know him for a long time, so... So you should know uh, Luis as well? Yes, but uh, I don't have such a close relationship with Luis as I have with Nico. Okay, because both of you are fathers, I believe. Yeah, uh, but even children. before he'd been a father, okay, okay. Nico would be a guy which he sees me walking, he will maybe push the horn and say me hi, you oh, know, good. from a distance. Uh, um, Augusto lives next to the tunnel in Monaco. So if you go to Monaco, next to the tunnel, shout, Augusto, you at home, we need coffee, Brazilian well, you coffee. Come, you come to have a coffee with me. Yes. So uh, you said Nico is a good guy, and Luis, you don't. I, I just don't know him okay. well enough. Okay. To, to, to fair him. enough. Fair enough. And you also a neighbor of Mika Hakinen. Yeah, Mika is a good friend. Mika is a very, very good friend. Uh, his daughter Ella, it is one of the best friends of my daughter. They go to the class, the school together. Oh. So uh, yeah, yeah, we know him. We know each other very well. It's a good neighborhood. Yeah, well, it's a fast neighborhood. It's a fast neighborhood. Yeah, good. Um, so we are in sport mode. Yes. And uh, take us to a lap, a complete lap. Oh, finally, because yeah. we are just talking, talking, and talking. And, and you're an interested guy. Both hands on the wheel. Thank you very much. Can I close now. my eyes? Uh, only on the turns. Okay. Not on the straights, okay? Only on the turns. Wow. Zot Chavaya Metorefet. Achshav Abachum Merukaz Kolo. I'm Charlie Shmuel at Atzmigim. I feel like I broadcast you <laughs> while I'm inside the car, and this is my first experience in life since I broadcast motorsport for many years. But this is the first time in my life that I'm going to be able to get a car that's going to be able to get a car that's going to be able to get a car that's going to be able to get a car that's going to be able to get a car that's going to be able to get a car that's going to be able to get a car that's going to be able to get a car that's going to be able to get a car that's going to be able to get a car that's going to be able to get a car that's going to be able to get a car that's going to be able to get a car that's going to be able to get a car that's going to be able to get a car that's going to be able to get a car that's going to be able to get a car that's going to be able to get a car that's going to be able to get a car that's then we downshift here. I don't have the guts to look at the speed, but you tell me the speed. Uh, then we go here, we yes. hit the curbs. you and climbing the curbs. Yes. You're actually attacking the curbs. Yes, it helps to kill, to reduce the understeer. And then here you go on power, you use the whole track. Do you feel the real uh, wheels turning? Yes, yes. On the slow corners, you feel a lot. Wow, it's good. Yeah, yeah it helps. Rotate the car and Do you yeah. think it will be ever in sports cars? Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Look. Wow! It is a 7 series and with 3 passengers inside, huh? 3 passengers. Don't forget what that. What if it's 12? 610. He's used to DTM car. A DTM car is... 5... 550. 550. 550. But much more lighter. Yeah. yeah. Brake hard, brake hard. How is the technology of DTM with the rear wing, the DRS? Well, we have the DRS, which in a straight line will give you maybe 15 kilometers an hour. You really feel it? Yeah, you feel big time. Really feel it, big time? Yeah. Brake hard here, look, down shift, down to third, a wide entry. Here we are in Istanbul, triple apex. Istanbul Park. And then we go back home. The last one. Where you yes. the curb. Oh, we can hear the curb. And then tap Yo. on the brake. You go left. Is it the camera cameraman life? The cameraman is alive, but not for long. <laughs> but so, not for long. We can hear him laughing. Yeah, then, so he's still OK. You know what I had for breakfast? Uh, I don't want to know. And and soon it's coming. <laughs> soon it's coming. Soon it's coming. And now we accelerate and we cool down back. Here is the long It's street. a cool down. So we get here at the end of the straight around two, 230. Uh, this is in miles. This yes. is in miles, but it's going to be around 130 miles. 120. So no, it was 130. It was 130? Yeah. But I got a, good, a slow exit. And my from long women time it's the mid, they always add more. I said 120, he said 130. I would say 130, he would say 140. Okay. He, he is chasing me. He might want to He's get, one of my good friends now. He wants me to I go around never. there and put, show that I can do 140 miles. <laughs> we go around and I show you that the car does 140 <laughs> miles. I'm not teasing you, okay? okay. I'm just about to uh, throw know. out my breakfast. <laughs> uh, Augusto Farfus, it was a great time with you. Pleasure to talk to good people is always a pleasure, and especially to talk to someone who's who knows the history, who's such a has such a passion. Passion and uh, Boazinho, thanks. Boazinho, 
thanks for having me. And, uh, on behalf of all our viewers in the Sport Channel, uh, we wish you all the good luck thank for you. this coming year. It was a good experience in Daytona. And you're also going to do the next 24 hours in Nürburgring. Yes, and, in May. Um, in May. And it was fantastic. It was really fantastic. Good thank job, you. man. Good job.